Hey guys, it's Shauna and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with another DIY thrift flip tutorial, which I'm very excited for. I'm gonna try to recreate one of those like white dress shirt dresses. Um, I've seen all over like Zara, Virgil, Princess Polly, all those really popular brands. And I will have to say quite a few girls on TikTok have been wearing this dress and have made me very envious. So today, of course, we are gonna try to make it. I am just using this men's white button up dress shirt um, to do it and hopefully it'll turn out really cute. I did look in my dad's closet to see if he had anything that I could use but he didn't so I ended up going to my local Salvation Army and picking up this men's dress shirt. They literally had two racks full of men's white dress shirts. I didn't even know they made that many shirts, made that many styles but I ended up picking out this one because it was a little bit longer on me so we have room to like make it a dress because we don't want it to be super short. Um, and it was made out of a really thick material, so I didn't have to worry about it being see-through. This one is from the brand Kirkland, so Costro represent. We love Costro. Um, and yeah, basically I'm just trying to take in the waist, do a little bit of pleating, and hopefully it turns out really cute. I haven't done anything like this before, um, so fingers crossed it turns out good. And hopefully by the end of this, we will have a really cute dress that I'm going to wear all the time. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so after I tried the shirt on, I was worried that it was going to be like a couple inches too short for my comfort. So I went ahead and added like a panel to the middle. Um, I did that just by cutting the dress shirt in half and then taking um, parts of another white shirt I had and just attaching it to the middle. I did so the right side to right side and then did a French seam on the outside. And I don't think you can tell that much, especially after I do the little pleats in the actual dress. Um, so I did this just to make it a little bit longer, um, so that's one way you can do it if um, your dress shirt is a little bit too short. Just cut it down horizontally in the middle, add like a couple inches of fabric there, make it all seamless as possible, and then you're good to go. Okay, so now it's a little bit longer on me. I think the first thing I'm going to do is make the sleeves a little bit longer. You can see the armhole is all the way down, like the sleeve goes all the way down here and my arm is up there. I don't want it to be too tight. I want to keep it a little bit loose around the arms, um, but I'm going to go ahead and just make them a little bit, a little bit smaller. So I'm going to pin along the edge the size that I want and then sew there and cut off the excess fabric. So that's what I'm going to do now. I marked where I wanted to take the sleeves in with a safety pin and then took the shirt off and finished it off with pins. I pinned down the sleeve and down the body of the shirt just to give it a more natural curve. Um, this is what it looked like after I was done pinning. I then used a straight stitch and sewed along the pins and cut off the excess fabric. Okay, so I'm now looking at a picture of the dress I want to recreate. Now that I fixed the sleeves, I'm going to start sewing in the little pleats and putting in the waistband. So to do that, I'm going to use a bunch of safety pins first um, to pin it all in place. I'm using safety pins instead of regular sewing pins so it doesn't poke me as I try to take it off. Okay, let's see how this goes. I'm just going to start pinning. So I'm going to bunch right in the middle of like my waist and I'm just going to start pinning here um, to mark how much I need to take in. So to make the pleats I grabbed about an inch of fabric and folded it over on itself. After I made this entire dress I realized that I probably should have made the pleats while wearing the shirt inside out so they weren't so obvious and light squarish if that made sense. So if you recreate this and want the pleats to be a little less obvious, then I would recommend doing this entire process and this entire step while wearing the shirt on inside out. This will make the pleats a little bit less obvious um, and maybe it'll look nicer, but I'm not sure because I did it while wearing the shirt on right side out. In total, I think I made about eight or 10 pleats. I did two in the front, two in the back, and then two tiny ones on the side. You can make more or less, uh, make the pleats a little bit thicker or thinner, depending on how tight you want the dress to be and how you want it to fit. Cut 
After I was done marking all the pleats, I then took off the shirt and replaced the safety pins for actual sewing pins. I made each pleat about 6 inches long with the pins, and this was just to start. I ended up making the pleats a lot longer later. Now that I pinned like all the little pleats in place, I'm just going to go over them and sew them with a straight stitch. Um, once I'm done sewing, I'm going to try it back on um, and see if I want to like make the pleats any longer or stuff like that. But just going to start off with doing just this little length right here. I think it's about six inches long. I'm going to start with that and then try it on and then keep adjusting. I then sewed on top of the pleats using a straight stitch and this is what it looked like after I was done sewing. So the next thing that I'm going to do is hem the entire dress. Since I added like six inches of fabric in the middle, it did make it quite a bit longer. So I'm just going to, while I have it on, figure out where I want it to end and then sew a hem there. Of course, I couldn't resist and hem the dress. Don't show my grandma this. She always says that my dresses are too short, but sorry. I marked where I wanted to hem it and then pinned along the sides and sewed and cut off the excess fabric. You know the drill. After I hemmed it, I tried the dress on and realized I wanted the pleats to go a lot farther down the dress. So I just pinned them a little bit further on the dress, almost to the end, but not all the way. And then I sewed and made them a little bit longer using a straight stitch as well. And this is how it turned out. definitely my favorite way of styling this dress. It is great for layering because you get the little tennis skirt look and the collar and long sleeve so you know you keep warm and I think I would style these all with black boots but you know no shoes allowed in the house. Black boots or like white chunky sneakers would look really cute and I think the dress turned out really good. I like it. I do wish that I did the pleats while wearing the shirt inside out like I said earlier in the video but you know you live and you learn I guess. Maybe I'll recreate it with doing the pleats on the inside. But it was a pretty easy DIY and I think it cost me like four or five dollars maybe and these dresses retail for a lot more. So if you have a sewing machine and you want to try this then I would 100% recommend. And I think it's like beginner friendly and pretty easy. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye!